Battle control initialized. Let's get ready to raggle! Hello everybody, this is Talix, and I am my own personality, and today we are watching a raggle match with me, spawning in as England, as always, the British, versus Whippy, who's also spawned in as England. Now this is my away game, if I remember correctly. And me not liking behind the veil too much, but I did do a lot of practice on it. I was feeling quite confident when it was picked. As clearly shown by all these infantrymen that I built. Like lots of little green ants and whippy straight in. Building the wall, which I see so many people do. And out with the first harvester. Same for me, first harvester out. I was uh, claiming some of the sweeter spots on the map. Trying to get the little sniping points. Looking out for people trying to snipe my engineer. Straight in with the first engagement there. So I knew Whippy had this point. So instead of normally going for the middle oil derrick, I changed the top. Lots of fighting going on. Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah. Me gone for the traditional double refinery start to uh, same as Whippy. Traditional double breath. I don't know whether that was a bad order or not. Uh, I noticed that the machine gunner moved from his defense position. But yeah, and both of us now are building our war factories. There we go, now Whippy has capped both the derricks and same goes now just for me, a little bit later but still there. We start racking out those medics and rallying all men up together. I get some bulk up with more more men. I did overspend just a little bit on men. Maybe I needed to start yeah, racking out more harvesters or even now moving my conyard to this spot here. Looking back, probably what I should have done. But at the time, I was thinking more defensive, get as many men out as possible. Just like, yeah, just as I say, Whippy here has moved his conyard right out to the next uh, or a patch. And I think, yeah, I just go with a safety service step out and then rack out another MCV. So there we go, me trying to take out the oil derrick in the centre to deny him a extra load of money. Now, theoretically, I am now ahead, although this does not last for long. And there we go, I finally moved out my MCV. A little late, but at least it's done. And there's my second one, come out. And Whippy has now just Oh, he's moved again. Oh, well, I find it. Now, this is interesting. This, this attack force is actually meant to go and take out his last oil derrick, and then clearly at the top as well. Now he's taking out mine. It's just a 
trying to deny each other just extra money. Oh, it's terrible to see. Oh, I haven't even moved out the MCB at home. Yeah, at least deploy it so it cuts down the build times. Oh, it's terrible. So at the moment now it's just enemy at the gates on both sides. Maybe now thinking about it, should have pushed in. Oh, I do. Ah, pushing in. Okay, he pulled all... Ah, there we go, pillbox. Now I should have pulled out. Pull out. As soon as, I, as soon as I saw that pillbox, I should have just moved. There we go, that MCP is now finally deployed at home, but I've moved the other one down south. Straight at down Blanc Refinery, just trying to get more money. Now with these main forces moving out. Ah, oh, there's me coming out with some tanks, yeah! I love them tanks. Now, first of all, it's a bit of a risky move building a pillbox there, but it actually pays off in a second with the uh, engineer coming around. Tanks coming around here. Oh, maybe not should have pushed those central. Look at all the medics I've built. Oh dear. Wait, can they actually see each other? Yeah, there we go. I was thinking that. And there's the MCV from my base finally moving over to take. I'm mainly out of money on this side. Should have kept them there. They weren't moving, should have just kept them there. But then he was trying to deny. Ah, I'm out of money. That makes sense. So as it stands, would be he's doing pretty good on my money front. Uh, possibly a little bit of labor harvesting there. That's that's not too, too much of an issue. have a little push here from the big yet moving his conyard another conyard into position so it's three conyards to my two and now I just need to find a way of pushing through maybe this was a badly timed move from me just turn all units to, to rally up because they meet this force actually pays off. It pays off quite nicely. So it does mean the base is now empty of any infantry. Well Whippy here is collecting a nice mass to the north. Finally, 
empty tanks here. They're just taking out my harvesters that's having the time of their life, really. Just do what they want. And me coming down with some uh, artilleries here. So we've both teched up and at the top here, before I do it, yep, we're under attack again. Probably a panic placement there of the uh, refinery. I right, say now I'm pushing down, oh what a shot. takes out both my, both my, art my artillery with just one line, which is a good trade-off really. And I thought I'd be cheeky, quickly build the tech centre. Um, one thing I think about doing sometimes is if I feel like I'm losing, just tech up. them the bounty and to give me a bit of extra money back. I'm just pushing everything up. It's quite funny what's just been said there. <laughs> Why didn't you send that top army sooner? Like with three tanks, yeah. Maybe you should have pushed through sooner. <laughs> yeah, not a good display for me either, no. Totally agree with you. really just racking up, don't know, getting yeah, a bit of a bulk up of men. Maybe I should have been more focused on building another conyard. But uh, as you see, the pressure from here is now kicking in. Ah, oh, just unlucky. But if those artists were to stay up, it would have been a, uh, yeah, they're about to run away, but nice again, nicely done with the hinds, just take me out. Very sloppy play from both, but hey. <laughs> and there's another, uh, another MCV from me. <laughs> I love it, I don't have to do half the commentary, the comment section are doing it for me. The in-game chat. And there we have a Tanya out. For Whippy. One of my most favourite units in this game is Tanya. Get her in the right position, she just takes down infantry blobs. Like an artillery, really. You know, I'm wondering, did, did Whippy catch the... Uh, Yeah. And at this point, obviously as well, I heard the phase transport going into cloak mode. So I know phase transports are to play. They're another of my favourite units, so only because I like to put them... Yeah. Um, you know, they... You know... I like putting them out out in the front and just not turn them to attack anything, just, you know, keep them there, it's a bit of line of sight. <laughs> yeah. One of my personal favourite things is putting Tanya in the phase transport. 
might be what's going on in a minute. But at the moment we've got artillery exchanges going back and forth. And here it comes. <laughs> here comes the hinds just to take out my counter artillery. I am out of money at this point. Seriously out of money. Need probably a few more harvesters to go be built at home and then send these two down to this base expansion. So yeah, uh, a lot of counter-attacking, yeah. Um, although these longbows will be a nuisance. Yep. All the AFK harvesters. <laughs> Yep, as proven. The long base is coming in, taken out, and we have Tanya in a phase transport waiting by my own. And here comes up my Tanya. A smaller infantry squad going around the back. And here I am again, just trying to edge on sight, give my artillery it's just something to shoot at. And obviously, because I've been scouted around here as well, they're just coming around the back of my main base, that uh, secondary base, sorry. Okay, base transport gets spotted. Yeah, definitely getting the uh, my war factory. <laughs> a lot of a lot of everyone being elsewhere. Like Whippy's been away doing stuff, and I've been doing stuff. So, me clearing up that little infantry block with. Now I'm just pushing in. Coming in with light tanks. And here comes here comes the death squad. A nice six amount of tanks coming in. Take take out my conyard. Yeah. That, that infantry bug would take me out. So replacement wall factory at the bottom. Tanya is down. I've noticed when I control a Tanya, she will die in every way possible. You name it, I think it's happened to my Tanya. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Scoutillery. No, not like that. This is just literally everything I've got. I'm just trying to go in for a kind of push. And uh, all this infantry. <laughs> trying to quickly get... Possibly need to get a Tanya out at this point. But it's just assets. I'm down to one. Two harvesters, sorry. And that's it. Yeah, 
definitely DT here. Yeah. Yeah, man. 